They say this summer's gonna be a scorcher. So stay out of the sun with G4 all summer long. We'll be live at Comic-Con and the biggest gaming conventions in the world, like PAX, Leipzig, and E3 2008. Yeah! We'll be bringing you the outrageous season two premiere of Code Monkey. Yeah! Plus more G4 exclusives, including a dark night behind the scenes special and the world television premiere of The King of Kong. It's all a part of G4 Stay Out of the Sun Summer, starting June 1st, only on G4. All right, as you just saw, G4's got a kick-ass summer planned for you with exclusive programming, like the world television, television premiere of the acclaimed film, The King of Kong. Yeah, it's it's a kick-ass. It's kick-ass. Really. Like, that's my, it's I, kick -ass, I, I, I said it in there, dude. Yeah. So Hella kick-ass stuff. <laughs> the King of Kong, it's this amazing movie is awesome, documentary. Though. In 2007, a film crew set out to document the world of I, I mean, the, gaming. The thing and is, it's, it's going to be funny. Like, God, Kevin Alonso just say awesome to everything. It's excellent. It's great. It's also going to be a great movie. Oh, did you ever watch that movie? No, I didn't watch that movie. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, just, uh, I'm getting a little tired. I can see why some people, they, they start watching, you know, G4, a year later they stop, because they just get fed up with it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like, you, oh, wow, this is pretty neat, it's pretty fun, high energy, real entertaining people, and you realize, okay, this, it's all an act, all a show. Oh, God, it's, it's getting too much of an act, too much of a show, I'm getting tired of it. Um, the, uh, I was going to say, um, so those convention coverages. The thing is, though, it's I got a feeling it'll be like the previous uh, conventions, in that like, oh, hey, check out, we're at this convention. Here, here's uh, cool things to see. It's like, okay, we already know about that. We already know about that. We already know about that. Uh, oh, here's something new. Wait, okay, we already know about that. We already know about that. You know, and that's my problem with G4 TV's coverage is that they go to the convention floor, they show me the same thing over and over again. Uh, they tell me this is what we're going to cover. They go to the convention, they cover that thing, then the next day or two days later, like, yeah, this is what we covered. So it's like, the same thing I've seen three times, and in some cases it's like, okay, you know, it's great, you know, I, I, in fact, I knew more about it before the show, or, or before the convention than anything else, and it's like, okay, it's great, it's there, but there's not much else there, you know, maybe show a little, you know, clip of it uh, when you're at the convention, but otherwise, um, you know, show us some stuff that we haven't seen. You know, give us new material. Talk to the people who don't yeah, have access to millions of dollars and can advertise and, you know, put, uh, put uh, hey, uh, product notices in like a dozen or more, Dude, you know, periodical. Show us a product that nobody knows about or, or that, you know, some struggling company is working on. Because uh, to me, uh, you know, G4 TV, the Internet, uh, it's the underdog. You want to help and support the underdog. You want to tell people, like, hey, this is something amazing. This is something that can really help and be beneficial and be useful and can help you make money and, you know, and basically help out society. Uh, G4 should promote those things, should show those, showcase those things, in my opinion. Uh, and even if it's just an oddball product, you know, <laughs> considering how much the different niche o audiences that G4 has, showing these niche products hey, why not? Because it's the niche audience which will latch on and kind of fixate on that aspect, but they'll kind of stay and watch the rest of the part of the show because they want more of that one particular thing. And then it's up to you know, the producer of the G4 to decide, okay, you know, is it worth having this? So that's why Neil Tiles keeps mentioning, or he keeps having to go back and forth with people about these old uh, tech TV, G4 TV, t G4 tech TV shows uh, like Filter and... Uh, I mean, and it, even filter when you think about it. What is what is the filter? Lists. A bunch of lists. And uh, the way Diane Mee and Zoto presented it, it was like, oh, okay, it's interesting, you know. Uh, but uh, all the people they talked to, it's like, after all, you know, sometimes they had some good people they talked to uh, to get the defining thing. So the way Diane Mee and Zoto presented, you know, filter was pretty good. The way uh, when they hired Beth Ostrowski and they said, yeah, this is, this is the show. <laughs> And, and I bet, like, she starts looking around at the uh, programming for G4 and uh, how the medium, or, or, like, the average employee was, like, some 20-something-year-old uh, uh, white college student or, co you know, college dropout student, maybe. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to the programming G4 is going to offer. Um, and it's great that they have all these different ideas, but I don't know. I think they could do more. I think uh, G4 could appeal to a broader audience. So, yeah, we'll see what happens.